guys, it's Siddy here, and welcome back to another video. I would like to introduce to you my new friend. Isn't she beautiful? So I've had this beautiful monarch butterfly for about a week. This is what her wings look like, so she can't fly. She does still try to fly sometimes, but she just falls to the ground. I also didn't think that she was going to live for this long, because I've tried um, helping insects before, and usually they do end up passing away the next day. But to my surprise, She's still going strong. I thought I'll just make a little bit of a care video, I guess, on butterflies because during summer and spring, um, it's very common to find like an injured butterfly outside. Now, I know it's winter for a lot of you guys, but here in New Zealand and some other countries, it is summer, so there's a lot of butterflies around, especially monarchs. My family has a big garden at our house, so we get a lot of butterflies flying around. And I found this little butterfly just sitting on the ground. I thought she was dead so I went to go pick her up and she's still alive. So at first I left her outside on a flower for a few hours until it got dark outside and she was still on that same flower so and it gets quite cold here at night so I decided to keep her. She's living her best life. Look at her. She loves this stuff. This is her favorite flower. She loves these. Well all butterflies love these. I don't actually remember what they're called but I'll try and put a name here because you can definitely look for this flower to give to a butterfly because they love this stuff. So if you find a butterfly outside and they're just sitting on the ground, I recommend that you have a look at their wings. If their wings are very ripped up like this butterfly's are, I'm not sure how that happened by the way. I don't know if she was just like born a bit deformed or if a dog or a cat got to her or got into a fight with another butterfly. I'm not sure, but her wings are very messed up. From what I have read online is that they often don't grow back and once your wings are damaged, there's not much you can do. I have read uh, ways people of um, actually finding other butterfly wings uh, from dead butterflies and gluing them on <laughs> um, alive butterflies with damaged wings and apparently that works. It's obviously a very delicate process and you could potentially just do more harm than good if you're doing that but apparently that's what a lot of people do but obviously you have to find another butterfly that's already dead and has intact wings which is not very easy and it's probably not something that I would personally do just because I worry that I could do more harm to this butterfly sometimes you might find a butterfly that is just like exhausted and they might still have you know intact wings but they just might not be moving much if you do find that the best thing you can do is either put them on a flower or you can like watch them from um, close by or you can take them inside for a little bit, give them some fresh flowers, give them some sugar water and they might recover and then you can set them free once they're better, if they can fly. Obviously if they can't fly, they're not really going to survive in the wild. So they'll probably only live for another day because something will get to them, a bird or, or another animal will find them and eat them. You know, obviously it's a circle of life, but if you want to give that butterfly a chance then you might as well, you know? They're just such beautiful, harmless creatures, so why not give them a chance? So I've been keeping her in this little bug container. This is one with like uh, ear holes and a little lid that can open up. So this one is quite small and I do want to find a bigger one for her because this is pretty small. This is the only one that I could find that's like very secure. So hopefully I'll find a bigger one soon to give her because these bug cages are pretty good. They have a lot of ear holes and they're usually quite secure. But you know you could just use like a cardboard box or just turn like a container into a little bug box and put some holes in there and stuff. If they are injured, like this butterfly here, then you probably don't want to add too many sticks that are too high because if they do fall they could obviously hurt themselves even more. So just be wary of that and make sure you give them fresh flowers every day. They can live happily on just flowers. I do have this little uh, pot thing which is actually like a civilian family pot and I put water in here and give that to her. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of sugar in it and make like sugar water. You can also use a damp paper towel for water as well because obviously you don't want to add too much water. You don't want to use too big of a water container that they could potentially drown in. I also like to um, put her out in the sun every day if it is you know good weather outside. I'll just take her out and Maybe I'll put her in some flowers and stuff like that. I put in some videos that I've taken throughout this past week of her and I've taken her like outside. The sunshine's very good for them. She seems to really enjoy the sunshine when I take her out. She often will flap her wings a lot and like try to fly but obviously she can't so she just kind of falls. Just be aware that butterflies only live for about 60 days depending on the type of butterfly. Monarchs live for about 30 to 60 days um, but I'm not really sure about other butterflies. But it also can depend uh, on the season that they hatched. So don't expect them to live very long. Um, I'm honestly just surprised that I've had her for a whole week. Like to me that's like pretty cool. But yeah, they don't have very long lifespans. You know, you can just still give them a good little life even if it is short. Also, 
if you do take your monarch butterfly outside, which is what I do, just be careful of other monarch butterflies because when I took her outside the other day, we got like attacked by another monarch butterfly. It was the most bizarre thing that I've ever experienced, but I have it on video. Get out! What is happening? Get out! I don't know what that was about. It was so strange. I don't know if the butterfly was trying to fight her or if it was trying to mate with her, but it was very weird. And that butterfly like would not stop coming after us, so I had to put her away. So just be careful of other butterflies. Monarch butterflies can be brutal to each other sometimes. They do fight each other and their mating procedure is a bit brutal. So um, just be careful of these butterfly. If they are female, there is a pretty high chance that they are full of eggs already. So just be prepared, they might potentially lay some eggs and if you want to keep them, you can, you know, care for them and wait till they hatch into caterpillars. I haven't noticed any in her enclosure, so I don't think that she has any. I don't even know if this is a girl, to be honest. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of assuming she's a she. They do lay their eggs pretty quickly after mating, so you'll know within like a couple of days if your butterfly does have eggs or not. They are very small though, so just, you know, you might have to take a good look. So yeah, I think that's everything I really wanted to say in this video. If you're out there also raising an injured butterfly, I wish you good luck. It's definitely not what I expected I'd be doing at the moment. If you guys have anything to add about modern butterflies, feel free to in the comments below. I've only really learned this stuff within this week, so obviously I don't know everything. I'm just trying my best with my little butterfly. Maybe I should call her a butter walk instead of a butterfly. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye!